What's up, boomers? So I have two little questions for you in this video. This isn't going to be a normal video. Um, I got this new keyboard recently. It's very nice. Buckling springs. Very tactile, as they call it. Very, uh, I don't know, fun to type on. It also has a track point. I'll talk about this later. And it also has, I also got the uh, Linux super keys, which I haven't added yet. These are still Windows or whatever. But uh, in this video, I want to ask you two questions. The first one is, I'm a little worried. This, of course, is a nice keyboard, but it makes a whole lot of sound. So I want to do some typing, and I want you to tell me if you think the typing is a little bit too loud, or if it gets in the way. If I were to record uh, screencasts with this thing, do you feel like it would get in the way? So my mic is right, uh, it's really right here. So I'm going to type, I'm just going to type some random stuff in Vim. Um, you know, it, whoops. it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Hopefully, I don't know, my the audio, hopefully you can hear my voice more than you can hear the keyboard. Although some people like the sound of, you know, keyboards typing. Call me Ishmael. Uh, I guess a lot of people are also going to, you know, talk about how I type. But I'm going to move the mic up here, just in case. If that is too loud, maybe I can straddle the mic like this, or maybe put it off to the side or something. So it really only picks up in one direction. So if I write more here, you know, the industrial revolution and consequences have been. All right, or I guess. One other thing I could do, I could just take this and put it in my lap. Frankly, since I have a track point, I don't even need the desk. I could just, you know, have it way over here and type something, you know. Okay, so anyway, so that's that's my... Um, audio test. So if those if that is too loud for you, please tell me. But I have one other question that I want to ask. And this is because so I got this I'll, I'll do a full review of this keyboard later. Um, if you don't know about these things, these are made by Unicomp, which is a very small company that uh, basically bought over I think what is it Lexmark's old machinery from years ago. So some of their stuff their their equipment is very nice, but there's one little weird thing that um, I've heard other people complain about, and I sort of detected in my own computer, or my own uh, keyboard or whatever. As I said, there's a track point, I can move it around. But I want, I want to show you something. If you notice, uh, let me, so I can move it, you know, left, right, up, down. Um, but the maximum speed is different for each direction. At least I think that's what it is. So if I start over here on the right side and I move over to the left, you'll see that that's a relatively slow rate of movement. But if I move from left to right, it's way faster. Same thing if I start at the bottom and go up, that's pretty fast, but if I go down, that's pretty slow. Now this, as I mentioned, Unicomp has really just took over the old uh, machinery of, um, of what's it called, of uh, Lexmark or wh whatever it is, Lenovo, I don't, was it like the Lenovo? I don't know, I'll do research. But, um, so it's, it's, they don't have the best equipment, so I've heard other people complain about this kind of mouse speed issue. So I'm curious if there is a good way. Now, it's no big deal if you're just very gently touching it. I mean, it takes a little getting used to because it's a little different from other track points. Um, but it's it's still good. Um, but I'm just curious if there's a way anyone knows of to cap mouse speed in Linux or increase it only in particular directions. As I said, if you move left, that is a good bit slower than moving right or at least at the maximum speed. Or if you go up, that is a good bit faster than going down. So I want to increase my speed going left and down or decrease it going uh, right and up. That's what I want to do. So if anyone knows a way of doing that in Linux, in X, um, please tell me. I can get used to it. It's not too weird. It's just uh, something out there. And I'm sure other people, I've heard other people complain about uh, this before. Um, so it would be nice for them, you know, for them to know as well. But anyway, I'll do a full review of this computer. Don't 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 take a, don't let your takeaway be that something's wrong with this uh, keyboard. I really love it. I'll do a, a review on it later. But I just wanted to throw this out. So two questions. Feel free to answer to your own opinions.